the bathroom got a little bit of a pick-me-up. I'm digging it. I hope you like it. Today, I'm going to be recreating a look that my youngest son, Micah, helped me come up with. To start things off, I'm going to use my eyebrows as a guide and I'm going to section off a large portion of hair in the front. I'm going to do my best with my fingers and then I'm going to use a rat toe comb to help me create a neater part. For the time being, I'm just going to clip this section out of the way. As you can see, I don't need to add any extra product in my hair. <laughs> Today I have two Darcy's Botanicals products in my hair and one from Jane Carter. And yes, I finally got around to replacing that old taped up mirror. <laughs> okay y'all, so what I'm doing in the back of my hair is I'm just splitting it down the middle and creating a center part. So to those two halves, I'm going to section those in half. <laughs> I hope that's not too confusing. But it ends up looking something like this. Let's begin with this section here. I'm gonna stretch it out a little bit with my fingers. And then I'm gonna grab my spray bottle and mist it lightly with water. I'm gonna grab some gel, my Fantasia IC Hair Polish or Styling Gel, and I'm gonna apply that all over my edges. And I'm gonna also run it lightly through the length of my hair. Next, I'm gonna take that section and I'm gonna begin flat rolling it upwards. Now, if you know how to do flat twists, that would look awesome, but I can't flat twist, right y'all? So, flat rolls it is. One day I'll get it down, y'all. So I'm just gonna take the section and I'm going to secure it with a hairpin. Now I'm just gonna continue the same process for the other three sections of hair. And this is what it's looking like so far. Not too bad. To the puff at the top of my head, I'm just grabbing random sections of hair and twisting. Nope, it doesn't have to be neat or fancy. I'm just grabbing and twisting. Now we gotta do something with all the random twists. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna take a few of them at a time and pin them down. The shape that I ended up creating is kind of like a really flat bun. All right, we finally made it to the bangs. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of water and lightly mist my hair. Then I'm gonna section off my hair. Once again, not really parting or anything. For each medium sized section, I'm gonna take a little bit of gel and then I'm gonna twist my hair lightly. Just like that. Uh-oh y'all, summer is back and so is the frizz. Look at that twist. <laughs> Now that my twists are complete, I'm gonna grab them together and pin them out of the way for the night. Tonight, I'm gonna to give my satin-like slip a break and use a satin-like scarf instead. Void harsh tension, I'm gonna tie it very lightly. Oh my gosh, maybe a little too light. <laughs> That's it for tonight, see you in the morning. Good morning, let's see what we got going on under this scarf. My hair flattened out and smoothed out quite a bit. All right, now it's time for the takedown. So although my hair is pretty defined, I'm going to purposely remove the definition. And thanks to all the humidity in the air, it doesn't take any time at all. To smooth things out even further, I'm just gonna grab my baby brush and gently brush my edges. Now for the fun part. I'm gonna gather all of the hair at the top and I'm gonna roll it into a pompadour. I'm gonna use a hairpin to secure that bad boy into place. And that's it. I hope you have fun trying the style out and I hope this video was helpful. I will see you very soon in another one. Take care.
to check out my channel homepage for lots more to watch. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more. Have a great day.